dedicated to the great outdoors. It's Southern Woods and Waters with Hugh McNaughton. Southern Woods and Waters is brought to you by Gander Mountain, Greenform Construction, The Burns Insurance Group, Cunningham Buick GMC, Nashville Marine, America's Motorsports, and now here's Hugh. All right, welcome everyone to this Thursday night's edition of Southern Woods and Waters, and we've got another great show lined up for you tonight. It is the really like the eve, Brandon, before the end of turkey season, two, just, 2017. We just about made it to the end. We just about made it to the they, end. Uh, they, there's some birds out there that are feeling lucky, but they it, still got another it, couple weekends. That's to go what through. I'm saying. Do you think there's birds out there going? Whew, made it. They better not do it too quick. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, we have got a show for you tonight. And you're going to hate us. I know it, we'll probably get hate mail for this. You realize that? Well, that's all right. It's for bringing on the pros at the end. Kind of like the Monday season. morning quarterback. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You this work. is after, you know, we've already done our draft and, and done our trade-offs <laughs> and everything. Right. Now we got the pros. Yeah. But we have with us tonight, we have Brandon and I. Well, Brandon actually invited him. Thank goodness he did. But Randall Haley. And Randall, you are a local hero when it comes to turkey hunting. Nah, you lucky. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I beg to differ with you on luck that one. Luck only goes so far. <laughs> yeah, yeah, luck is, uh, luck it can only be played so much. Yeah. But uh, there's got to be some skill involved in what you do. Well, I'm blessed one thing to have turkeys. Yes. You know, they, uh, uh, one thing that you got to have to get them is to have them. You got to have them. And we have them. And, uh, we don't scare them off. We go in in the morning if they gobbling, they're gobbling. If they're not, we don't hoot and croak on all that trying to get them to gobble. They either gobble or they don't. Normally, if turkeys are there, they'll gobble, you know. Especially if it's a good, clear morning or something. It's, you know, it's just time, that time of the year. Early in the season, you got a lot of talking. Yeah. You got hens doing a lot of talking. You got the gobblers doing a lot of talking. And uh, uh, most of the places where you don't kill birds, you got humans doing a lot of talking. Yeah, true. And uh, if you just kind of go along and listen to them old turkeys early in the season, they're making every kind of sound that you can hear, or that you've heard humans do. Uh, calling is a big old part of turkey hunting. Mm -hmm. I ain't taking nothing away from it. That's you've right. got to call them. But there's a lot of stuff that you can do that that turkey, he'll come on into it. That's right. And I don't ever say what a turkey will do and what it won't do, because you just, you don't, just know. don't know. You don't ever know what. You don't ever know what. Well, you're now doing. you also brought your grandson with you tonight, and oh, that yeah. is Devin and yeah. Devin Faircloth. Now, Devin, uh, dude, I gotta say you're a pretty awesome turkey hunter in your own right. I mean, you've already gotten six birds in the state of Tennessee this year. And that's your four statewide and two bonus birds, right? Yes. And you're going to go Saturday? Yes. And you'll probably come home with one. I'm lying. We hoping. <laughs> we hoping. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now you've got eight. Did you get four and four uh, bonus? I've, I've got eight. I usually try to get nine a year in Tennessee. I don't hunt anywhere but Tennessee. Mm -hmm. That includes all the, uh, anywhere that I can get on a quota. That way I get Four yeah. on the state and four four Campbell four Campbells mm -hmm. birds are bonus. That's yeah. right. But most of four Campbell is in Tennessee. I've killed I don't know less than ten up on the little Kentucky. Yeah. Part yeah. Of it. Most yeah. of it's in Montgomery and Stewart County. Right. But uh, you got to have a Tennessee license. Every bird that I've killed's been on a Tennessee license and Devin too. Mm-hmm. And uh, them old birds up there are public, and they're veterans. Yeah, they're yeah. smart birds. Yeah, they. Uh, uh, but there's ways to kill them, and, and and we'll talk about it here in a little bit. There's little sounds that you can do that uh, you just never hear it on a DVD or nothing. You might. But it seals the deal. It does. And yeah. that's what we want to tell them. Now we're going to go with with uh, Randall throughout this show, and and Randall, uh, we we're going to pick your and Devin's brains, but we want your the common cause, 
but we don't want your number one call till we get to the very end, okay? All right. You agree to that? I will. All right. That, we're <laughs> going to do that. And, and, and so you got to stay to the end, and you're never, ever going to believe what his number one call is. So uh, don't even guess at it. It's not even fun. Uh, because you can't hit it. <laughs> you couldn't guess when you I was asking get, you, could I you? Didn't, I had, <laughs> when you said something, I was like, really? <laughs> so, I mean, that's that's odd. But yeah. it's a, now that I thought about it, it's a great deal. It makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense about. now when you think about Soon it. As soon as I yeah. heard him talk about it, I guess it's been three or four years ago now, there's one one in my vest and hadn't left it since. Well, see, that's, what, that's what, never, what we need to know. Yeah, I mean, it's... Now... Uh, just and, and we don't have long. We got about four or five minutes left in this segment, but I want to ask you something else, Brandon. Right now, uh, you still got gobblers out there. Uh, some are gobbling, mm -hmm. but then you got some that they, they're not saying a mm -hmm. word. That's right. Uh, they're they're mainly looking. Yeah, they uh, they to me they're just like an old barnyard rooster. Mm -hmm. You know they. Uh, Early in the spring, you got all the little ones and everybody is hollering. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's old long spur. Yep. You know, mostly. Now, you've got these two-year-old birds that, uh, like, I've got some there at the house and uh, started out with five of them, and uh, they're not mine. They're wild turkeys. Right, right. And uh, Dayton Blair might have been after one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you got to watch them. You never you know. Gotta keep yeah. one. You got to keep one. That's a good eye working on you over there. <laughs> yeah. But... Uh, <laughs> They're there, and uh, old Devin's got them. How many did you see today, buddy? It's Four. your house. It is good. And they're, you know, they're starting to get back together now. So they're batching they're back up. Some of them are. Yeah. Some of them are with hens. Yeah. And I got one there at the house that ain't gobbled in over a week, but he's got hens right there with him, and he just pitch right down, and you know. He just stays he, with them. He don't have to gobble. Mm -mm. And then there's three that uh, are running you know, together. And they'll gobble in the morning long enough to get together. And a good thing to do right now is if you hear one gobbling over here and one gobbling over here, get right between them. Because they're going to come Get between meet. them and use that magic call. The one we're going to give away at the end. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's so they kind of stay. I mean, our viewers have to stay to see yeah, all this. Yeah. That's the only sound that you got to make and, you know, that's a turkey really ain't that smart. He can't reason. You know, they they really don't remember everything. He lives, he's just like a deer. Well, then why do we use them as an excuse? I got outsmarted today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that ain't saying much, it. is it? Yeah, no, no, yeah, talks don't about our much intelligence a little bit there. <laughs> the, main, the main thing is don't scare them. It's just like a deer or anything else that you're hunting. If you don't scare them, you can go into a place and and you can run ducks out. You just hunt it to death. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you hunt you a good, get you a good little resting hole and hunt it about once a week. You can limb it out there every time you go in there. You know, if the ducks are here. Yeah. Now, yeah. Ducks and turkeys and deer are totally different. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. But these turkeys right now, a lot of people uh, want to call the new hunters, especially. It's all in the calling to them. And a lot of them are confused on a cluck and a and a purr. Mm -hmm. I mean, a cluck and a put. Or a yelp or something. A uh, yeah. yelp or something. Well, you know, you got this certain kind of yelp and you got this. And if you go out there and listen to them turkeys and you hear a flock of 50 turkeys out there, you're going to hear five and every one of them are going to sound different. Yeah, every one of them does. And these new fellas are saying, he's cutting, he's purring, you know, he's... And that's not, that's not it. No. Them old turkeys' voice are different as... Yeah, it's mine. mine and yours. Yeah, and but right now, and we'll talk about this a little bit later on. Uh, when I first started hunting, I don't know, 78, 79, long in there somewhere, and uh, the first old man that I knew that turkey hunted was 72 years old, and he didn't use much, and he talked about what they called a maiden yelp. He called it maiden yelp, and I'm thinking it's maiden yelp because it sounds just like it five little level things, you know, and he said, he said, this time of year, that's all you use, you know, and it's a little old sound, like right now, you'll hear that little hen out there, just cow, 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 mm -hmm. and that's all you'll hear, and then in a few minutes, you'll hear her again, mm -hmm. and that's just a mate, and yep, she is calling that gobbler, mm -hmm. 
when she yells and plays a gobble around, he hears it, and he's listening. All right, I want you to save it. we got to go to break. I want to save, the, uh, save some of this information for a second segment here. But first, uh, before we go to break, I want to tell you about our Facebook page. Please go on the Southern Woods and Waters Facebook page. Like us, share us, comment. Uh, you can send Brandon and I all kinds of uh, uh, questions and everything. We'll be glad to answer and be glad to answer your questions about uh, anything going on in the state of Tennessee. So use our Facebook page, Southern Woods and Waters, and we'll, uh, we'll be glad to answer you. Hey, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, hey, now where you need to get your pen and pad out because this next segment, you're going to be writing them down. Be right back with more Southern Woods and Waters. 